Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah Amma ba'd Then today inshallah is going to be a quick easy class Bismillah Last week we talked about The fi'l mudari' Al-mu'tal al-akhir The present tense verb that had a Weakness or a sickness in or a defect in its ending. I Meaning it had an alif, a wow, or a ya. And we talked about I'm gonna you wanna mute yourself, Abu Sameya, that way if you need to talk you can open your mic or you want you know without raising your hand or there you go. JazakAllah Khairan. And that way, um, we talked about because it had the ending, that the sign of being marfu or mensub or medzum didn't always appear because of that weak letter. Sometimes due to the thickness of the tongue, sometimes due to the uh, impossibility of that taking place this week we're going to talk about the al-ismu al-mu'tal al-akhir the noun which is has a defect or a a weakness in its ending now one thing we want to remember is that Nouns, asma, right? Asma, then they have three cases. Three cases. They have marfu, right? They have mensub, and they have majroor. And the main sign, the original sign for Marfur is a Dhamma. Right? A Dhamma. And the main sign for Mensub, the Asal, the origin is a Fatah. And the Asal, the main sign for Majrur is a Kasra. As for Af'al, Af'al, the plural of Fa'al. Then it also has three cases, two of them shared, one of them different. The first is marfu, which is shared with nouns. The second is mensub, which is shared with nouns. And mejzum, which only verbs have, like majrur, only nouns have. And the sign for a verb being Marfu, as we said, our, our original sign is a Dhamma, the base sign. And then for Mensub is a Fatah, and for Medzum is a Sukun. Right? So, this is going to take place when we have nouns which are, and verbs which are, three letters and sound. Sound, meaning all of them, or at least the ending of them, is sound. Right? You just want to remember that always. That these are our cases. Right? Now here, when dealing with the Mu'tal al-Akhir, the thing which is sick in the end, then the noun is either going to be marfu, mansub, or majroor, but its sign of a dhamma or a fatta or a kasra may not always appear due to the defective ending. This chapter has two parts to it. Inshallah, it's easy enough. We're going to go through both parts. The first is, and we'll just give an overview of what they are. The first is, Al Maqsur wa ahwaluhu i'rabihi. Wa ahwali i'rabihi. Al Maqsur. 
What is maqsoor? Maqsoor is its ending is an alif maqsoora. Right? Maqsoor its ending is an alif maqsoora. Or we'll just say here an alif to make it easy and I'll and I'll explain. And then we have what we're going to have part B is called al mankus which is the same uh, under the same title but that is where the ending is a ya and before it hey, yeah the weak letter though eh? yes but this al maqsur that's what we're talking about Words with weak letters. The word which has a weak ending and its last letter is a alif. And then mankus is a weak noun whose last letter is a ya. Right? So not all of those nouns which have a weak ending are going to be dealt with exactly the same. If it has an alif, it's going to be dealt with one way. If it has a ya, it's going to be dealt with another way. Right? And that's what the part two, right? This is part one. Part two will deal with elmenkus. The first section dealing with those nouns which are weak in the ending with an alif as the last letter. The second section dealing with those nouns which the last letter is a ya right so they're both weak in the endings but one ends in an alif the other ends in a ya the first one is called maqsur the second one is called menkus and i was up around one in the morning trying to figure out what's the difference alhamdulillah i found it so <laughs> Uh, we could benefit from that today, right? We could benefit from the reason why it's called that. For me, the benefit is to remember the difference between the two. When I hear the word ismu maqsur, I want to know what it is. What ismu manqus, I want to know what it is. Al ismu al maqsur, al ismu manqus, I want to know what it is without having examples or you know definitions I just want to know exactly what it is so that's why I wanted to know what why they were called that to help me keep it separate in my mind al maqsur as we'll go down real quick and read the qaida which will help us right here Al Maksur huwa kullu ismin mu'rabin akhiruhu alifun lazimatun Al Maksur is every noun which is mu'rab as we said there are some nouns which are not mu'rab right like hadha hadha has an alif right Hadha has an alif, but we're not talking about hadha, right? We're talking about, because that is not mu'rab, that is mebni. We're talking about those words which are mu'rab. Akhiruhu alifun lazimatun. The last of them is a alif which, like a alif which has to be there, right? It's there, it's not going anywhere. It is what it is. It's not changing. Right? That's first. That's maqsur. That's what it is. Tuqaddaru ala akhiri al maqsuri harakatul i'rab al thalatha. It says then the tuqaddar is going to be implied. The upon the la the end of the maqsur the end of the ismu maqsur it's going to be implied the vowels of the i'rab that we've already been through meaning the dhamma the wow or the alif all the, the fatat 
the Dhamma, the Fatta, the Kasra, the Dhamma, the Fatta, the Kasra, those are all going to be implied. Like we did before. We had this is Muqaddara. This is implied. We don't necessarily see. So let me look real quick as an example for what we did. Um, when we said something was implied. Uh, we said, for instance, uh, Akhsha was one of our verbs. Akhsha. I fear. Right? Now we said that a, a present tense verb is marfu as long as nothing comes in front of it. But here we have this alif maksura, which prevents us from typing or writing a adama on it. Why? Because it's impossible to put a vowel on an alif unless it's a hamza. We cannot put it on there. Just on the alif itself, you have to have the hamza. And we can't just put an alif here, I mean a hamza here. So therefore, it's impossible to write it. Although, we'll say this is a fil mudari. This is a present tense verb, marfu, in a, in a marfu form, right? And its sign is a dhamma, which is implied. It's not written, but implied. And it's not written because of the impossibility of doing so, right? Now here, we're going to have the same type of thing. You're not going to be able to, right? see the signs so for instance we know that the file is what the file the doer of the verb what case is it in marfu mensu huh no mensu no i didn't hear you that's why i said huh mensu no the file the doer allahu oh uh, 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 allahu Right? Qala yeah. Marfu. Marfu. I think that's what you said the first time, right? Yeah. But, but because I'm... I said, huh? You said, no, Mansub, Mansub. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> I just didn't hear you. I wasn't checking you. I just didn't hear you. So. Okay. Here. Najal Fata Min Al Gharaq. The young man, the boy, the young boy, Fata. Right? Naja al Fata Min Al Gharaq. Now, if you were an Arab and following this book, he's also bringing a lot of irregular verbs here, right? Because we started having the rulings for those words before most of the verbs that were being brought were sound three-letter verbs now he's bringing like naja right but the point of the text is al fata the boy uh was safe min al gharaq here the boy the boy is really marfu because it's the fa'il he's the doer here da'at al asa Da'at, and this cusser is for reading purposes on that tap, right? Da'at al-asa, the stick, the staff, the stick, like, you know, like it could be a cane, is lost, is gone. It's gone. It's the file, right? It's marfu. Nalani al-adha, basically harm came to me. Again, we have a weak verb here. Al Adha. Right? Al Adha. His harm came to me. This is Marfu. Shamita bi al Ida. Al Ida. Shamita means to rejoice at someone's loss or pain. So, Al Ida, the enemies rejoiced at my loss, basically. Right? This is all of these. Right? Are marfu. All of them are the fa'il. Every one of them is the fa'il here. Every one of them is marfu. But not one of them do we see 
the sign of being marfu. Najaytu al fata min al gharaq. I saved the fata. I saved the boy. What case th- or what 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 uh, what is his purpose or what is his function in the sentence? Najaytu al fata min al gharaq. I saved the young man from drowning. What is fata here? What po- what part of speech? What's your name? In the first First sentence, Fata was the fire. He's the one who saved. Here, Najaytul Fata, I saved the boy. Okay. Maful bihi. Maful bihi. The object of the verb. I saved the okay. boy. Yeah, the object. I'll do that. Adatu al asa. I lost the stick. Maf'ulun bihi. Mana'atul adha. I prevented or whatever. I prevented the harm. La tushmit bi al Don't. Uh, uh. I don't know how to translate this. Let to Schmidt. Do not rejoice at the wrong of the Ida. Right? These are all Mef'olun Bihis. But if we look and compare one column to the next, they look exactly the same. Fat al Fata al Fata. Al Asa al Asa. Al Ada al Ada. Al Ida al Ida. And if we look further down, even below, in the next section, it says, Raditu an al fata. I am pleased with the boy. Ain is a harf jar. That means this should be majroor. It taket to al al asa. I leaned al al asa. Ala is a harf jar. So al asa here is majroor. Salim tu min al ada. I became. I was either safe from the wrong, from, from the harm, or I became better from the harm. Right from the harm. So min here is half jar. Al ada al ada is majroor. Intasar tu al al ida. I was victorious al al ida. Ala is harf jar, so al ida is majroor. So this first column, all of it, they are the fa'il marfu. The second column, they are maf'ulun bihi, mansub. In his third column, they are Ismu Majroor, Majroor, we don't have to write it again, Ismu Majroor, Majroor, right, Ismu Majroor, Majroor, but they all look exactly the same. They all look exactly the same in all of their positions because this Aleph, right? This Aleph is preventing the sign from appearing, right? It's preventing the sign from appearing. That that Aleph is presenting, preventing the sign from appearing so when we say al fata we're going to say al fa'il marfu' bi dhamma muqaddara with a dhamma which is implied because it's not there al asa al fa'il marfu' with a dhamma implied al ada Fa'il marfu or a dhamma implied. Al-ida, al-fa'il marfu or a dhamma implied. 
Al Fata over here in the green is Maf'ulun Bihi, Mansub, with a Fata implied. Right? Al Asa, Maf'ulun Bihi, Mansub, with a Fata that's implied. Right? Al Ada, Maf'ulun Bihi, Mansub, with a Fata that's implied. Al Ida, Maf'ulun Bihi, Mansub, with a Fata that's implied. Down below, the same thing. An al Fata, Fata, Isma Majroor, with a Kasra that's implied. Because if we said Raditu an Muhammad, we would say an Muhammadin. The Kasra would be there, it would be visible. Right? I am pleased with Al Waladi. An Al Waladi. An Al Waladi. The Kasra would be there. But because we have a weak letter at the end, it's not able to show that. We can't say Fata'i. Fata'i, we can't do that because it's not a Hamza, it's a Alif. Right? We can't say Al Fata'u because it's a Ham, it's an Alif, not a Hamza. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? We can't say Fata'u because it's not a Ya, it's an Alif. Right? Same thing, al al asa. We don't say al al asa e because this is not a hamza, right? This is not a hamza. Min al ada. We can't say min al ada e because this is not a hamza. Al al ida e, right? Or ida e. We can't say that. So therefore, all of these are majroor. All of these are majroor. With the kasra muqaddara meaning implied right all of these have a kasra which is implied right so you're not going to see it but it is majroor so what does that benefit us right now at this point we don't know all these words and i don't need to know what's implied and not implied well number one it shows us that every time I see the word fata or asa or ada or ida or those that are similar to that, they're not going to always be in the same case. They're not going to always be in the same case. It might be in the same in different sentences, in different positions in those sentences, having different functions, and it's going to look exactly and be pronounced exactly the same. So, najal fata. Najaytul Fata, Raditu Anul Fata, all three of those have a different function in the sentence, but I pronounce them all exactly the same because they have a weak ending. Right? So when I want to pronounce that in its proper place, I'm never going to say Fatayu, Fata, Fataya, Fatayi, or Fatau, Fataa, Fatai. It's never going to happen. Why? Because of that. Weak ending. Clear? No. Oh, you. Now we have Al Ismu Al Mankus. We said the Ismu Al Maksur. Had the alif at the end. Ismu menqus has a ya at the end. Right? And these are the nouns that have a weak ending. Right? Mu'tal al-akhir. Weak ending. And how they are in Arab. We say ahwal, their conditions or situations. Because... We don't say wa arabihi because we can't really make arab of them. We can't really make the arab of them because they have letters which prevent us from doing so. Right? So the ahwal, the condition, then we say it's in a. When we say that was, when we said up here, we said this is marfa'il marfu' in the fi mahal ruf. Fi mahal ruf. Right? This is the file. Fi mahal al-raf. Because we don't see 
the rough. We don't see the the dhamma. We don't see the rough, so we say fi mahal rough. Right? And with the dhamma being implied. So that's why we're saying wa ahwaluhu wa ahwalu irabihi in the con positions or conditions because it's not being done in and of itself, right? You can't really see the irab on it. So we had maqsur, which is with the arif, and manqus, which is with the ya. And it's the same thing. Far al jani. This is the noun. Here we have the dot. We don't have the dots on these because, like we said, not everybody writes the dots. Right? But they should be. Let me see if they're in my book over here, the actual book. No, they're not. Right? But Sheikh uh, Muhammad Uzair Shams, who is an Indian scholar of uh, Hadith in Mecca, he came here and he explained that many people around the world, they don't write the Ya with the dots. At the end, especially at the end, they don't write it. It doesn't have to be. He said his the people of Hadith, most of them, they still don't write the Ya with the dots when it's at the end like this. Right, but we're gonna put them there like I just did for for our purposes because we're weak, you know, and we need them. So we say far al jani. Al jani means the criminal. The criminal far he ran. Al jani here is marfu because he's the fa'il. Right, he's the fa'il. He's the one who is doing it. Right? He's the one doing it. He's the one running away. Right? He's the fa'il. One second. The fa'il. Man. He's the fa'il. Adal al-qadi. Al-qadi, the judge. The judge, the judge was just, Adala, he was just. Who was, the judge was, whenever we have a, right, then we have the file, right? But we don't say Al-Janiyu, Al-Qadiyu, right? We say Al-Jani, Al-Qadi. Nada Al-Munadi, Nada Al-Munadi, the caller called. The caller did what? He called. He's marfu. And we say yendamul bagi. The bagi, al bagi means uh, the one who was like oppressive, the one who overstepped the bounds, right? He yendam. He he repented. He is the file here. He's the one who's doing it. But we do not see. Right, we do not see for some reason. I cannot write on that part of the page. We do not see the sign of it being marfu. Right, we do not see it over here on the second set. We have Habastu El Jani. I caught the criminal. Habastu, I caught him, I captured him, I arrested him, however you want to write it, right? Habastu, right? Al Jani, what is Al Jani here? Mafulun bi. Mafulun bi, right? Mafulun bi. Mafulun bi, exactly. I caught who? Or I arrested who? Al Jani. Nahtarimu al Qadiya. And actually, al Janiya. Right? Is it? Yes. Okay. Nah, I thought you said we'll go. We'll, we'll have the Karen in there. Well, I'm go, we're going to go over that in just a minute. Okay. Right? Because this is Menkus. But we're going to go over it, right? Nah, I see the one's got it already up there. Huh? The other ones already have it up there. Well, two of them do at least, yeah. Right in my in my book here, then they all do. Now this could be an old PDF, and so it's not there, 
or a bad copy where you know some stuff just didn't mm -hmm. get copied when they scanned it or something you know nahtarimu al qadiya we respect nahtarim we respect al qadiya maf'ulun bihi who do we respect the qadi who's the object of our respect the qadi sami'tu al munadiya i listened to or i heard al munadiya right i heard the caller I heard what? The caller. Mansub. Maf'ulun bihi. Mansub. Yaqrahu al-nasu al-baghiya. The people dislike or hate al-baghiya. The one who oppresses or goes overboard, right? In his behavior. All of these we can see the fata. Right? So these are going to be maf'ulun bihi. Mansub. With a fatha zahira. Right? Fatha zahira. With an apparent fatha. Over here, these are in the first column that we did. These are the fa'il marfu' with a dhamma muqaddara. With an implied dhamma. And we'll go over why in just a second. Then here we so have now, now the ones right there with the uh Mef B. We have to pronounce that fatha. No, you don't have to pronounce it, but it is if it, it is uh for instance, if you were uh uh if we Let's were to say down. um let me see Habastu Al Jani Right Al Jani uh as Sagira Al Jani Al Jani as Sagir Yeah look like Yeah you're right You're right I wrote it wrong you're right mm -hmm. As Sagir now here, Sagir is an adjective for Al Jani, the, the 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 young or the small criminal. I caught the young or the small criminal, right? If I was to continue reading, if I was to stop like we have here, Habastu Al Jani, no problem. We're, we don't okay. have to pronounce it, but it's written there, or yeah, at least okay. it, right? Well, yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah, here. Habastu al Jani as Here we would pronounce yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. I'm talking about at the end of the sentence. That's what I'm referring to. Right, I understand. But if yeah. I were to write, for instance, Farra al Jani as Now, how do I do that? Right? Because this is Marfu al Jani. Al Janis Sagir. I'm not gonna have my Dhamma here, which it seems like I should have, right? Because it is Marfu, he's the file. I'm gonna have it on my va on my on my uh, adjective, right? Because a Sagir, there's nothing preventing it from being from seeing it. It's not Mu'tal al Akhir. It has a ra, which is a sound letter, not a weak one. So I can see my sign of rough here. But on Jani, I'm not. So how am I going to pronounce it? I'm going to say Farr al Jani. The same way if I said Habastu al Jani. They both sound the same as they appear in our PDF over here. They're pronounced the same if I stop. Farr al Jani, Habastu al Jani. But if I add a Sagir, an adjective to that, or something which would cause a sentence to continue, then I say Habastu al Jani as Sagira. Or Habastu al Jani as Sagir. And you can hear the Fatah here. Whereas here, Far al Jani is Sagir. It's not going to say Far al Jani yus Sagir. It's going to say Jani is Sagir. Is this going to just run over into there from our Kasra? I'm never going to say my Dhamma. Why? Because this Ya yeah, doesn't Can't hold it. Does, 
doesn't hold it, right? Right now. So okay, uh, what makes that the the file? What makes it the file? Yeah, in the sentence. Who's running away? The small criminal. Oh, okay. Depending on what's running, I got it. I got it. So no, okay. Depending on what's the word and what it's saying. Okay, if I said Jalasa. Okay. Because you might not know Farra. Jalasa al Jani. Al Sagir. Right? Okay, now, yeah, the boy. Jani. He's a criminal. Yeah. Al Jani's still there. Jalasa, he sat. Right? The small criminal sat. Yeah. Who sat? Al Jani the in yeah. the fire. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, in this last group, real quick, we have Nadartu il al Jani. Right? We look at the criminal. Kumna Ijlalin Lil Qad. Alhamdulillah. Yeah, Alhamdulillah. Yeah, Tikum Allah Yusuf. Kumna, we stood Ijlalin out of uh, whatever respect or whatever, right? Lil Qadi for the judge. Asgaitu from Sad Ra Ya or Alif Maksura when you look it up, right? Meaning to listen to or to pay attention to. Right? It's like Samitu, but it is more to pay attention to, not just hear, but to pay attention to. Il al Munadi. I paid attention to the Munadi. All of these Al Jani is Majroor after the Ila. But it's not Al Jani Yi. It's not Al Jani Yi. Right? Kumna Ijlalin Lil Qadi. We stood out of respect for the judge. It's not Lil Qadi Yi. Li being the Harf Jar. Azgaitu Ila Al Munadi. Not Munadi Yi. Right? Not Munadi Yi. Just Ila. But it's still Majroor after Ila. And then Al Al Baghi Taduru Ad Dawa'ir. I don't know what Dawa'ir is. <laughs> One second. The, the, the point though is Al Al Baghi. Ala is a Harf Jar, right? Harf Jar meaning Baghi here is Majroor. So this is Ismu. Majroor. In this first column, it's the file. In the second column, it is the Mef'ulubi. In the third column, it is the Ismu Majroor, after Harf Jar. Now, in the first column, we're going to say file with a Dhamma Muqaddara. Right? Muqaddara. Because we don't see al jani you. We don't see that. We do not see al jani you. al qadi you. al munadi you. al baghi you. We don't see it nor do we pronounce it. We just say al jani al qadi Because it's difficult to say al jani And like I said before, right? A lot of words for us are difficult. But that's because we're foreigners and we're learning the language, right? But we're talking about being difficult for the Arabs themselves, right? It says here, uh, the wa'ir is to encompass, to do the uh, I don't know, he goes around in circles, I don't know, whatever, I don't, I don't understand the sentence. But uh, anyway... The first, the first column, these are all the five. And they're more four, but we do not pronounce the Dhamma, nor do we write it. Because of the Ya, which makes it difficult to do so. Al-Jani-Yu. 
right al qadiyu al munadiyu al baghiyu that's harder then so this ya prevents us from doing so due to its heaviness or thickness so we say fa'il marfu' wa dhamma muqaddara implied it's not written in the second column habastu al janiya then it's easier al janiya is not like al janiyu and if you say it to yourself out loud you'll see the difference janiyu you have to like make you have to come from the eu it's difficult whereas janiya is much simpler you may hear it even in my own pronunciation then nadartu ila al janiyi that's definitely difficult so the sign is not there. Here it is muqaddara. Right? Mu muqaddara. I'm trying to write it sideways. Muqaddara, right? Is implied. Here it is muqaddara. Right? It's implied here the jar the kasra right here here it is zahira it is visible you can see it why because the ya in the file in the when it is marfu or majroor it's difficult to pronounce the dhamma or the kasra so therefore we don't say them we don't write them, nor do we say them, right? It's muqaddara, it's implied. While with the fatta, put the fatta on a mansub, then it's easy. So it says our definition here, and I should have read that first. But because I did the first one, maybe this one's easy. al manqus al manqus huwa kullu ismin mu'rabin akhiruhu ya lazima maksurun ma qablaha the noun which is called ismu manqus is every noun which is mu'rab and why do we say that because there may be something which is uh which appears a noun which has a ya at the end which is mebni i can't think of one off the top of my head i can't think of one but there may be a noun which is mebni, right? So we're talking about those which are mu'rab. The last of them is the ya, which is going to be there, and it's a kasra before it. There's a kasra before it, right? Like all of those that we had, qadi, jani, bari, right? Uh, the other one was Munadi. All of them had a cusser before that ya. Yeah. That's called menkus. The second qaida or rule, nuqaddiru al-dhamma wal kasra ala akhir al-menkus fi halatay al-raf wal jar. The we imply the dhamma and the kasra upon the end of this menkus noun, right? in the conditions of them being marfu and majroo as for nasb amma nasbu as for when it's mansub fayakunu bi fathatin zahiratin al akhir but when it's mansub then it is apparent so if we compare the two we have Men maksur, right? Let me see. We have maksur. We have menkus. Right? We have. What are they? Alif is at the end. Right, Aleph is at the end, and the Aleph never changes, right, has to be there, and the Ya at the end. Right, with Kasra before it.
That's basically his definition. Right? When it is marfu, marfu, right? Or I should just do it like this. Let me see. When it's marfu, what happens? They're both implied. The sign is implied in both of them. Right? Muqaddara. When it's mensub, what happens? It's implied. When it's maksur, we don't ever put the fatah on that alif. It doesn't ever happen. Asa, that alif never has a fatah. Asa, ah, never. Right? However, when it's menkus, then it is apparent. We write it and we pronounce it. Right? And when it's majrur, then it is implied. And when it's menkus, it's implied. So, they're not just made into the same, uh, they're both isma mu'atal al-akhir, so therefore we treat them all the same. No, why do we have two categories? Because one of them, and when it's mensub, it has a little bit of a different case. It has a different, not case, but a different uh, dealing with it. All the others are muqaddara. Marfu with a dhamma muqaddara. Marfu with a dhamma muqaddara. Mansub with a dhamma muqaddara. Right? That can, when it's menkus, it's mansub with a fatha zahira. I said dhamma here, but I meant fatha muqaddara. Right? Implied, let me write that. Implied dhamma. Sorry for the bad writing. Implied fatha. Right? Implied Kasra. Here, implied Dhamma. Apparent Fata. And an implied Kasra. Right? Is that helping you out any? Is it making any type of sense? No. Oh, yeah. Now, why is it Maksur and Menkus? MashaAllah. Why is it that way? Yeah, why is it called Maksur and Menkus? See, a lot of times, a lot of times, I guess, at least for me, in my very beginning stages, and I'm still in the beginning, that's why I said very beginning stages, right? <laughs> I don't think about, like, for instance, when I was learning Tajweed, why is it called Idgham, Idhar, Ikhfa? You know, why are these iqlab, why are these terminologies used? You know, I don't know. They got to give it a sign. It means it. But actually, the term comes from the action that is done. So there's a reason why it's called maksur. There's a reason in Arabic, wallahi, for all of this. Why is it called a dhamma? Why is it called a fatha? And why is it called a kasra? Why isn't this a Dhamma, and this a Kasra, and this a Fatha? They could have started out like that. Like we could say, how come, how come we call the sky blue if the very first person, assuming that Allah didn't teach Adam that name, which he did, so Allah taught him that, because Allah taught Adam all the names. But we're going to say, if Allah would have taught Adam that the sky was purple, even though it's the color it is the, that we see, but the name of that color is purple, then we would say the sky is purple today. But so is there a reason that it's called blue instead of purple? Maybe, but I don't know that reason. You understand? But why is it called a dhamma? It's called a dhamma because dhamma, if you say oo, if you say the, the sound of the dhamma, oo, oo, you have to poke your lips forward kind of like a uh, a whistle or something right a dhamma ooh, ooh. 
So it comes from that because that's what Dhamma means. Right? A Dhamma means to like poke your lips out like that, right? Dhamma. Woo. You bring your. It, it, it means to like whistle or something. Woo. Right? Well, see, they know that because that's their language. Right. Fatha. Fatha. Because when you say ah, you have to open your mouth. Ah. Ah. And kesra, because when you say e, e, you break your jaw. You have to bring your, this is like a mouth, right? <laughs> e, you have to break your jaw here to say that e, e, you have to bring your, this bottom jaw back some. You have to, it was here, you brought it back. E, so that's why it's called that. So now, all these terminologies have, they're not just called something so that we can define them one from the other. They actually have a reason for them being called that. Right? They have a reason for them being called that. So what's the reason for Maksur and Menkus? Tayyip? That's what we were on. Okay, it's called Maksur because actually and I'm going to go up. I'm going to go back to my PDF. All of these, and I'm going to erase this stuff here if I can. At least on one column, which I did. All of these are an Aleph Maksura. Even this one right there. Even these two right here are Aleph Maksuras. Right? The Aleph Memduda, which is this one that is long here, is actually in words like Ula. Ula, let's see, ulama, right, or uh, words like, um, uh, what's another one where he said another word? Anyway, uh, I'm trying to think of another word. What does it say? Asdiqa, asdiqa, right? Khudra, khudra, this is a dad. Then, when you have a Hamza or something, then this is called an Aleph Memduda. But when it's at the end like this, it's called an Aleph Maksura, no matter what. Even if it's lengthened out like that, right? Even if it's lengthened. Because this Memduda, like the word Med. So I say, Ulama, and I prolong myself. Asdiqa. Khudra, like that, right? Here, fata, I don't say fata, asa, ada, I don't do that. I don't prolong it like this. So this is an alaf maksura. That's kind of easy. Now what about the menkus? The menkus comes from the root naqasa. And we know what that means, but probably not in this context. Because it we're out of our field of comfort. Naqasa al Iman Yazid wa Yankus. Iman al Iman Yazid wa Yankus. Increases and decreases. Right? It increases and it decreases. So naqasa means to decrease. Ma naqasa sadaqat min ma. Sadaqat does not become uh, or does not take away from your money it does not decrease your wealth sadaqat does not decrease your wealth ma naqasat sadaqat min mal okay now all of these words here al jani al qadi al munadi al baghi and other than them al rami right the one who throws right no problem all of these when you remove the alif lam you lose the ya so you say Jan. You say Qab. Right? You say Munad. Without the out of lamb. And you say Bab. So you lose. It decreases when you 
take off the Adam lamp. So that's why it's called Almenkus. Why yep. But the main thing here, Maksur, Aleph at the end. Aleph, it's always going to be there. Menkus, Ya at the end with a Kasari for it. Always going to be there. When it's Marfu, either one of them, the Dhamma is implied. When it's Majrur, either one of them, the Kasra is implied. When it's Mensub, when it's Maksur, when it has an Aleph at the end, then it's going to be Fata implied. But when it's Menkus, when it has a Ya at the end, right, with the Kasra before it, then the Fata is going to be apparent. Any questions? Inshallah, one day you'll appreciate this. You might be mad at me right now. What is he wasting my time for? He's sleeping, right? <laughs> no, 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 no. Well, one day. No, because I know, like I said, you no, know, this is very beneficial because, you know, like you said, I'm not going to get it all right now, but it's an introductory to it and getting very familiar with it more and more. So right. when the time comes, we really actually get to studying it and trying to learn it for grammatical reasons, then it's going to be much better, much easier. For sure. Anyone, I was thinking about it last night when I was looking this stuff up, when I was looking up these words and all this stuff, I was thinking, man, anyone who likes Sudoku and word puzzles, crossword puzzles and all that, they'll actually love this stuff. Anyone who likes those types of brain puzzles and mind mind puzzles or whatever they're called now. they'll love this stuff why because this is exactly what it is why is it like this why does it fall there what is this it's just it's just anyone who likes solving uh equations will like this anyone who likes math will like grammar you don't like grammar or you don't like math you probably won't like grammar you know because it's just plugging and playing and stuff in there you know we got a nine here so since we got that nine, we're not able to see the the, the this. You know what I mean? Simple. <laughs> you know? So anyway, I'll see y'all tomorrow with Sarathatul Usul bi idni la ta'ala. Um, Asalaamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.